Okay, these are some Inventor basics. Uh, when you open up Inventor uh, for the first time, there might be a window here where you have to hit start working. And then this is like a home landing screen. And sometimes you might be tempted to open your files from this location. I recommend that you never do because if you've saved them in the wrong location or with the wrong name, you can quickly lose track of where you're saving files and where you're opening them from. And it can give you real issues later on. So I recommend that you come up here and you just close this home feature so that your screen is blank. Don't close Inventor, but that's the feature. Then when you want to open or begin a new file in Inventor, we come up either to the File tab right here, and we can expand that down, or we can simply come to where it says New, and instead of dropping it down, we just click on it. You'll notice for me, I'm already in the Davidson Custom folder. If you're not, if you're somewhere else, you might see other options. But we want to click on the Davidson Custom folder, and there's just four choices, Standard Part, Standard Assembly, Standard Drawing, or a standard presentation file. For the beginning, we're always doing standard part files. I click on that and hit Create. When a part file initially opens up, I'm going to see different things come up in my user interface. The user interface is what you see as a user on the computer. This is my graphics window. I see things for the part file here. On the left here is my model browser. Up here is the ribbon. In the ribbon, there are different tabs. Under the 3D Model tab, I can hit Start 2D Sketch, and I can start my sketches. And you've seen a lot of this in Inventor already, so I'm not going to explain a lot of these details. These are in the modeling videos that you'll see, um, and I guess maybe you haven't seen them yet, but you will be seeing them soon. Um, and so I can extrude these different directions and different distances and things, but again, these will be in the videos that you'll watch. Some things I want to show you are the view cube in the upper right corner. The view cube, if you hit on different faces, you can see different faces. Uh, these are orthogonal or straight on perpendicular views, the front view, right side view. I can go to an isometric view by clicking on the corner and you can drag the view to get other views as well. If you ever get lost for your view, you can come to this navigation bar and over here is the look at tool. If I click that and then click on any face, it will square up to that face. Another thing I want to show you is the right mouse button. If I right click with my mouse, oftentimes things that I might want to do next show up as choices. And if that's not one of the choices you want, um, you can often come up to the ribbon. If you want to edit anything, you go to the model browser and you can expand things by hitting the plus signs to see the sketch that was used to make this extrusion. Or you could expand an origin folder to see different origin locations, axes, planes, and points. I want you to also notice that if you use your mouse wheel, if you press the mouse wheel, you get a little hand and you can slide things. If you zoom the mouse wheel in and out, you can get a zoom. And if you double click your mouse wheel, it will auto zoom to a good feature view. Finally, I also want you to be able to understand that every time you log into a new computer, it takes Inventor a long time to load and you have to have a new profile. So it's good to stay on the same computer. You might want to come down to Inventor in the taskbar here at the bottom, right click. And you might want to do a pin to taskbar. And it's not letting me do that right now because I have my inventor screen open. Uh, but anyways, when you go to save, you want to do file, save as. And under save as, you always want to find the right folders that you're going to. And you always want to name things correctly according to the directions given by your teacher. Other than that, I think we're good for right now. But that is some of the basics of Autodesk Inventor. And we're ready for our Puzzle Cube project.